Hi. In this section, I'm going to explain to you how to install programs in Linux Mint. And the procedure is more or less the same in uh, all Ubuntu-based uh, Linux distributions. Uh, so there's two ways to do that, the difficult way and the easy way. Let me first show you how to do it the difficult way. Difficult way is like we do it in uh, in Windows. You go to a browser and you look for a program. For example, you look for, by the way, if you want to highlight um, the address bar, uh, you have to double click, not single click like uh, in Windows. So for example, we look at uh, Linux uh, Mint, oops, Mint Browsers. Say you want another browser. Okay, so hit enter, and here we have different choices. Let me see uh, what we can do. CNET, that's usually Opera for Linux Mint from CNET. CNET is usually a good download site. So we go to CNET, and in CNET we have a download for Linux Mint. Uh, it's uh, 12.913 megabytes approximately, it shouldn't take too long. And uh, you download it from here via this button. And unless you have changed the default, uh, it will land in downloads. And then from there you install it. So that's one way, searching it on the internet and um, installing it uh, once it was downloaded in the downloads. That's the way people that use Windows are used to. Okay, the easy way is to do it the Linux way. And that's going to the software center. Go to the software manager and uh, you get this window with a lot of selections which we'll get to in a second. But right now we want browsers. So you put in browser. Uh, you don't have to hit enter or anything. It'll automatically come up. And it gives you a whole choice of browsers. Chromium browser, uh, Firefox, Opera, Midori. And here on the side, uh, these are the ratings and the number of people who did rate uh, um, the, uh, um, uh, the browser. And um, the number of reviews that uh, have been made. Um, so you can go by that a little bit. I wouldn't trust it too much, but it, it's something. So if you want a browser, for example, the Chromium browser, which I happen to have, or Firefox, which, let me see, look, Firefox, which we just used, you just double click on it. And uh, here you see it's installed in my case. And um, you can read a little bit about it. And then this button here, would say install and all you do is click on install. Now I have it installed and if I wanted to remove it all I have to do is click on remove here. So that's very simple. Uh, if I wanted uh, for example my Dory which I don't have um, I could install it from here. See here it says install. So there's nothing really do, do it and uh, it goes very fast. So that's a way uh, to uh, find one by name uh, or category. If you go into the categories here, and let's say uh, you wanted a tool uh, for uh, uh, cleaning your temporary files, a la CCleaner, it's probably in system tools. So you go to system tools. And the first, first one is one like this. It's called bleach bit. Delete unnecessary files from the system. There is a few others, but this one seems to be bleach bit seems to be pretty popular. Uh, you could also, when you're on categories and you happen to know the name of it, uh, you could also just say bleach bit, uh, and it'll find it, of course. And here's bleach bit. That one I have also installed. So, and then there's other categories uh, here. Uh, for example, internet, and you probably get browsers again. Yeah, browsers and Skype and Thunderbird and, and Pigeon and, uh, you know, all these things that <clears throat> you might want to use on the Internet. Uh, if you go more specific to email, 
uh, you get all kinds of email candidates um, and so on and so forth. So if you want, uh, uh, let's say, what uh, sound and video, yeah, that's an interesting one. Sound and video, you can uh, get all kinds of sound programs here. Or, for example, let's say you wanted uh, uh, a program like the one I'm using right now, which is a screen recorder. Uh, you just put in screen. Screen. And it'll give you an option of a few screen recorders. Um, the most popular one is Shutter, but the one I use is this one here, Record My Desktop. Um, it's a very nice one. Um, it's very simple and in, uh, the output quality is excellent. By the way, very, uh, very strange uh, history of this uh, program. You can run it uh, from uh, the command line in terminal, uh, which is a little unusual, but anyhow. So, let me go back to how we, we got here, just to remind you. You go to your start menu or menu, and you go to the software center here. Browse and install available software. As simple as that. You could also go here to uh, the, to the package manager, but that's a little bit more tricky. I would not recommend it. Uh, so software manager, that's the easiest uh, to do it. Office programs, of course, uh, uh, you can see that. The LibreOffice, which is of course uh, uh, the most popular one, Writer, that's uh, like Word or Calc, that's like Excel, <clears throat> etc., etc. But that's installed by default. So if I w were clicking on this one, it would say Remove, which means it is installed. Okay, well that's all. It's very simple. You go to the uh, Software Manager in the categories, either you know what you want, or approximately like browser or screen, um, or you go here to the categories and look what's available. No big deal. Much easier than uh, going uh, through the internet and looking for a download and having to install it, because everything is done in one swing here. Okay, so much for installing and removing, by the way, programs. Very simple. Okay, so let's get this stopped. Uh, oops, I did the wrong 